Welcome to another video tutorial from 2dgameartguru.com. This is a continuation of the Inkscape tutorial on creating an update for the caveman. In the first part, we took the head and polished it by adding shapes that give more detail, blur existing shapes for more depth, work on the contrast and just refine the head. In this video, we will be working on the other body parts. They are all separated shapes. I try to keep them in relatively neutral positions. Extreme angles make it harder to animate later on. While working on more complex projects, just remember to save often and save in new files. I add a version number at the end and increase that as I go. So far we have done the head which we have up here. I separated the body parts into different layers. I can just work on one layer. Once it's done, I lock it and keep it safe. Let's start with one body part, the upper left arm. It consists of two shapes, the base and the highlight. I cut the highlight, make the base a clip group and duplicate it in. I change the highlight to screen, duplicate it, give it a darker color for the shading and set that to multiply. I adjust the nodes and add a few more to adjust to the shape. I duplicate the highlight and adjust it to bring out the roundness of the shoulder. Two small triangles give me a little bit more shadow where the shoulder meets the arm. And we are done with the first shape. Rather than repeat the process on the right upper arm, I just copy those shapes and make the other arm a clip group, paste those objects inside and adjust them accordingly. We don't need the main highlight as this is the darker of the two arms. The skin tone on all the right side body parts is a tad darker to distinguish them better in the animation process afterwards. Repeat the process on the other shapes. Copy and paste the highlight and the shadow shape. Move them into place. Create a clipping mask from the base shape and place the highlight and shadow inside. Adjust them a little bit to match the shapes of the base object. And we have most of the elements covered. Next up are the feet. Here we need to do a little bit more. The shapes aren't quite ideal, so we change them by combining the two shapes that make up the feet at the moment, adjust the nodes and copy the highlight and shadow that we used before into them, modify them a little bit. It is easier to modify the nodes with the blur off and turn it back on later. The toenail gets a slightly darker shape underneath. The whole foot gets copied over to the other side and we give it the darker fill and we have our feet covered as well. Let's do the hands next. Their shape also is very simple. Bringing out the fingers by moving the nodes adding a little shadow shape and the main shade for the darker part, give that a blur, add some highlights for the knuckles and a highlight shape at the top of the hand, cut those, place them inside of the clipping mask and do the same thing on the other hand. Work on the thumb, add a shadow shape, set it to multiply, and add a shadow shape for the sum. With this side, you will see fingers, so we create a pill shape. Put another pill shape inside, blur the inner pill shape, and move it, scale it to fit the hand. And there we go, we have the hands covered. This leaves us with the body as last object. Again, it's a more complex one, so we will take the simple shapes off, add a little bit more detail to the shape. Using the node tool, add more nodes, move them, bend them. This is an animal fur he's wearing, so give it a little bit more of that feel. Some hair sticking out. And then we remove the simple shapes and replace them with something more complex using the pen tool. 
duplicated and use the node tool to just modify the existing shape for some variation so it doesn't look like the same pattern all over. A few dots to add to that pattern, blurring it a bit to match the softer look that we have in the illustration so far. The head will be sticking out of a hole that we didn't have prior. The same will go with the arm and we need a little bit of a shadow shape here as well. Using the pen tool I draw a shape on the left side, blur it, then I cut everything and copy it into the clip mask, highlight on the right side and we have the final shape done. Compared to the old version we should see a definite improvement. With all the elements in place I can now post the characters, see how all the separate elements work together. When I rotate elements I change the pivot point first to sit on a joint. It is a lot easier for the posing than a center based pivot point. It takes a little bit to get the positioning right to go with the character. In the end we have a decent looking caveman. This update was mainly achieved through the blurs, adding a few more objects and going in with the node tool to make some of the shapes more interesting. In the next video I'll export the individual parts of the body in order to animate them in spine. I hope this video was helpful in polishing your own game character. Please subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, leave a like and I will see you again soon.